The CDC said that it needed to rethink its approach to Ebola, and now it has. Today, Director Tom Frieden said the agency will send a rapid response team to any hospital that diagnoses a patient with Ebola. Frieden also said 76 health care workers who had contact with Ebola victim Thomas Eric Duncan after he was admitted to a Dallas hospital are being monitored. The nurse who apparently caught Ebola from him is reported to be in good condition tonight. Today, world health officials said the Ebola death toll in West Africa has topped 4,400, and it warned it could get a lot worse. We have two reports tonight. First, Dr. John LaPook. The World Health Organization said today that by December 1st, the region could see five to 10,000 new cases every week. Officials say the only way to curb the outbreak is to ramp up the response so that within 60 days, 70% of cases are isolated and under treatment, and 70% of burials are safe. Assistant Director General Bruce Aylward acknowledged the challenge ahead. If we don't do it in 60 days and we take 90 days, number one, a lot more people will die. That shouldn't. Um, and uh, number two, we will need that much more capacity on the ground eventually to be able to manage the case load. Dr. Eileen Farnan of Temple University School of Medicine just returned from the region. She was an infection control consultant for the WHO. If our goal is 70 percent, are we at 20 percent, 30 percent, 10 percent? Where are we? It's hard to give an, a real ballpark estimate on that. My gut instinct would be that we're less than 50 percent. What are the stakes? What if we don't reach 70 percent within 60 days? That would be a complete catastrophe. We know how to control this disease, and it can be done. We simply need the resources and the people and the coordination to do it. Although previous estimates put the mortality rate at about 50 percent, a more accurate number is now felt to be closer to 70 percent. One important change that should help, the WHO says Liberia's capital city of Monrovia is starting to scale up the number of burial teams. Right now, they need people and cash. And we just learned from the White House that they'll be asking Congress for more money for all of this. John LaPook, thanks very much.